that is the wrong scene. There we go. <laughs> Professional. Hello, Jim. It's good to see you. Let me give you another shout out if I can type properly. There we go. It's good to see you. How is everything? Hyper up. Welcome in. How are we doing? It's good to have you all here. As always with the Pokemon streams, angles are weird. We've got the two cams set up, but my good camera is the card camera. Um, thank you for the follow, Hyper Up. I appreciate it. It's good to have you in. Um, and I've decided that the shitty webcam camera will be the face cam. Yes. So let me pull aside what we've got for today. Um, we do have a Darkness Ablaze ETB, which I know this is an old set. But I never got to open one of the ETBs and they just did a reprint. So we have that. But then we also have Astral Radiance. So we have one Elite Trainer box. We've got two Blister Packs. And we have an entire Booster Box. All to open. No, unfortunately, I don't give out the codes. I keep them for myself. Um, so the codes will be mine. But yes, we are doing Astral Radiance today. I'm very excited. It literally only just released today. And the card list or anything isn't even out that I've seen. And if it is, I haven't looked at it. So this is going to be my first time opening the cards. And I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, I don't really have a whole super duper lot to say so I'm probably just going to start opening them up getting plastic off of things um we're going to do the darkness ablaze first just because it's less exciting because it's not new or anything but it's new to me I've obviously opened darkness ablaze before but I never got to do the ETB because I wasn't super into Pokemon at the time rebel clash and darkness ablaze is the sets where I started actually getting into Pokemon. So, yeah, but I didn't get an Elite Trainer box because I wasn't super into it. And I'm like, I'm not spending that much. Um, and then I missed out. And then they did a reprint, but Australia's reprint got cancelled. So I've purchased this box off of someone who was able to import it. And I'm very excited. I do keep the cardboard things as well because I hang them all up. And yeah, I don't have a darkness one yet. So that'll be another poster in my room. Got the player guide as always. And the box himself. Oh, I got a whole bunch of sleeves. And let me... Move over to my screen here, actually, and pull up chat so that I can see it if my app wants to work. Rude. Oh, it smells so good. I know that's weird, but it smells like new plastic. Hell yeah. So yeah, we've got the sleeves and pack of energies, as always. Some dividers. The dice and acrylic counters and then these packs so put the box aside as well the guide and all that jazz let me get these down here eh. all right pop all them up there so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Darkness Ablaze packs. So I'm probably going to crack these open first before we get into Astral Radiance, just because, once again, they're not as exciting. Um, I'm mostly finished with Darkness Ablaze. It's just some of the secret rares and, like, reverse hollows that I'm still yet to to get but like I explain every time I don't open Pokemon cards to resell or for profit I open them because I collect the sets myself and I enjoy it holotoxtricity p mills welcome in 
let me, I am my own mod today. So let me, oh my goodness, I cannot spell. Give you a shout out there. Hopefully it worked. Yes, okay, cool. No problem, Gem. It's good to have you guys. Hopefully everyone's having a swell day. It's just past 6 p.m. for me at the moment, so my day's been pretty good. Did some grocery shopping, um, reorganized the pantry and cleaned up the kitchen. Not a problem. It's good to see ya. Uh, what else? I had a little bit of an overstimulation moment, so I just went and sat in my room for a bit. But we're all stocked up on food now, ready to go for the next two weeks. Alrighty. What have we got in here? For the Bidu? Fuck yeah. 10 out of 10 chase card. That thing sells for like $3 million graded. It's quite insane. Reverse Diggers B. Oh, hello! <laughs> Speaking of $3,000. Uh, well, I can't get a fucking sleeve. Give me a sleeve. Well, it's certainly not a bee doof. But, uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do already have this one in the set, unfortunately, but. We are never going to say no to a Zard. So there's that. Yes, what was that? One, two, three, four, five. That was like third pack in. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alrighty. Finish on with these. I've got a plastic bag next to me. I'm throwing all my rubbish in. I saw a glimmer of something in the back of this one as well. So can we go for a second Zard, maybe? We shall see. Reverse Fletchinder. Holy fuck, what, the, what is going on with this ETB? Wow. Holy shit. Get in the sleeve. Oh my goodness. I don't want to touch you. Rainbow Rare Scizor VMAX. Holy shit. <laughs> We've barely even started. We're like 10 minutes in. <laughs> Hell yeah. God ETB? Fuck yeah. I do not believe I have this one either, so. Secret rare, he is getting sleeved and top loaded. There we go. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I saw something shiny. I didn't think it'd be that shiny. Four more darkness packs to go. Not sure how long I'm going to be on tonight again. Usually the card openings go for like an hour and a half. So probably around there. I'll set up a hype command one day. I just... I can't have stream elements hooked up to my emotes because I don't want to pay to sub it. So as soon as I can do follower emotes, I'll make a hype command and all that jazz with follower emotes. But I'm still not eligible, unfortunately. Still got a little bit to go. I want to get new emotes in general, but you need like 15 sub points for that. And there's no fucking way we're hitting that. So that's going to be ages away. But I do have some follower emotes lined up already. Hollow my low tick. For when we reach that goal at least. Two more darkness. So many white cards. Jesus. There's something in this one as well, but it's probably not going to be as good as before. A Charizard and a Rainbow Rare. That's actually insane. 
This has been a good ETB. Houndoom V, ultra rare. This is, I think, the best elite trainer box I've ever opened in my entire life. Uh, one little pack of this is usually about seven Australian dollars, six to seven, depending on where you go. Um, the boxes like this are like 60 to 80, depending on who you get them from. Sometimes the boxes are like $100, but that's only for the special sets. Houndoom V, I think I already have this one as well, but <laughs> that's still cool. This is such a cool art. I love the pink and blue and everything in it, and I love Houndoom too. Eee. One more Darkness Ablaze. My code card pile is getting pretty tall too. I should probably scan them in at some point. Vanillish, Clang, Ursa Ring, Trap Inch, Teddy Ursa, Pansia, Morlul, Wishy Washy, Reverse Simisia, and Delcaddy to finish us off with Darkness Ablaze. Favorite card art I've seen so far. I don't think I could name just one because my memory's shit and I don't remember them all, 2BH. Um, but I know that the art from Brilliant Stars, the first time I opened Brilliant Stars, I was like, this is probably some of the best artworks I've seen in a long time. I think probably in the entire Sword and Shield set. I really like the stuff from Brilliant Stars. And a lot of the secrets and like trainer galleries and stuff from the last couple sets, like Evolving and Brilliant and all that, have been really, really nice. I've been enjoying them. Okay, Ashdor Radiance time. Hell yeah. Let me rip the plastic off of... Also, I love the Elite Trainer Box design of this. I don't know why they picked Darkrai, considering the set is about Radiance. But I really like the black and the red. I think it looks awesome. This is like my favorite Elite Trainer box to date that they've done. It looks so cool. Oh, the actual box look even cooler. All right, let's, where is the seam? There it is. Slowly peel apart the artwork so that I can keep it. Dark Cry works really well with the black and the red. He really does. I think the box looks gorgeous. I just don't understand why they picked Darkrai. Oh, it's ripping. There we go. And take all the little glue stuff off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so Astral Radiance is supposed to be based around all like the Legends Arceus stuff. So you've got like the Primal Diaga and Palkia and Samurott, Typhlosia and Decidueye all those guys. Actually, this will have the card list in it. Should we take a quick sneaky peek? I always forget that the player's guides have the card list in them. Alrighty. Look through. So we've got some Lilligant, some Heatrans, V-Star cards are back. Alrighty. Origin forms, that's what they're called. The Diaga and Palkia. So all the starters have the V-Star forms. There's shiny Pokemon in here. There's shiny Pokemon. That is dangerous. Radiant Greninja there. That's a shiny Greninja. I didn't know they had shinies in this set. That's awesome. The Togepi line's back. Lake Guardians. All the Hasuian forms, obviously. We got some Darkrai. More V-Stars. Nicket and Thievul, for some reason. Primal Groudon would have worked. That would have looked fucking awesome. Primal Groudon Shiny is so cool. Some Garchomps. All the trainers. And a Rangaroo, again, for some reason. Very odd. Right, then you got all the ultra rares, alternate arts. There's some sick looking things in here. 
so many rainbow rares. No Charizards. No Charizards, but that's alright. Bunch of rainbows, some golds, and they've got another trainer gallery. Alrighty. That's cool. Another trainer gallery of 30. I like when they do those. So that means then that we can pull stuff from the reverse holo slot as well. So there's the possibility of double double hit packs in here, which I like. We've got the little rule book, which the Darkness of Blaze didn't come with a rule book. What about Bidoof? I didn't even think to check if there was Bidoof in here. Let me have a look. He's a normal type, so he'll be in like the hundreds. There's no Bidoof. I'm really sorry. No Bidoof, no B Barrel. He is not here. Alrighty. We got the dark rice sleeves that look awesome. More energies. Some dark rye dividers. And acrylic markers. V star marker. Hello, cat. And dice. That. Dice looks really cool. I like that. Hello, kitty. You can be in here, but if you chew any of my cables again, I will kill you. Not literally. Just figuratively. Alright. Box away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Astral Radiance packs from the ETB. So we've got Decidueye, anti -Felosion. And Samurot. Ah! You're gonna play with my cables, you can leave. I have like PTSD from her ripping my cables in half. Dialga and Palkia. It looks like. Alright, set them aside and we'll open everything else. So we've got a couple blister packs as well. I just get one with each promo artwork because I don't want to be a scalper and hoard everything. So I just get one of each. So three packs from the blisters, code card, chuzered coin, and zipromo card. I need. I should bring my sleeves closer. There we go. Alrighty. Little Sylveon card there. Pop that away. And he can go into the little promo card folder that I have. There we go. Ah! Get off it! And second blister. I think this set's going to have some good artwork too. I can feel it. Three more packs. Code card. Another Charizard coin. Okay. I'll be back. I've got to get her out of the room. I got her out, but she could very well come back in. It's not hard. So if she does, I'll have to lock her up. I don't mind that she's in here. But she's playing with the cables. And last time she was in here, 
or the reason I'm blocking this room off now is because she ripped one of my cables in half and I had to buy a piece of equipment again. Thankfully it was only RGB lights, but she's playing with my headphones and they're a bit more expensive. All right, the other promo card is an EV and I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, but I managed to pick one up with a swirl in it, which I like. I know they don't add value or anything, but I think they're cute. Is that like dust or? Oh, it's plastic from the sleeve. All right. Into the promo card folder you go. Get. There we go. They're adorable. I really like them. Alrighty. So that's. What's this now? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen packs from the blister and the ETB. But we have a whole booster box here, which is 36 packs. And I don't know if I can, I can open it with my bare hands. Alrighty. Let's crack this one. Get that popped out. So pretty, all the like pink and purple and the silver. So nice. All right. All right, all right, all right. Ah, uh, I think we'll do the ETB and blister packs first. Here we go. First Astral Radiance pack. Remembering that we can pull hits from the reverse hollow slot as well. My nose is itchy now. I assume the cards trick still works. Yes. All right, first Astral Radiance pack, here we go. Sweet Honey, Cancelling Cologne. Oh, my nose is so itchy now. Oh, Pile of Swine, Hisuian Growlithe. Look at the little guy. He's so cute. Bergmite, Rufflet. Sudawudu, Drifloon, Reverse Togepi, and a Thievel. Which I'm so confused as to why Neckit and Thievel are in this set. Because you cannot get them in Legends Arceus, but that's fine. I'm not going to question it. I won't even question it. Because they're cute. That was a very cute Togepi. I'm glad that Togepi's in this set. Golduck. Grant. Whoever Grant is. Hesuian Electrode. Cinderquill. Hell yeah. Scyther. Another Growlithe. Bronzor. So many of them in the game. Another Rufflet. Hesuian Sneasler. I hate Sneasler. I think it's disgusting. But that's our reverse. And a Rapidash. Not an Alpha Rapidash, sadly. But a Rapidash all the same. Oh no, I put that on the wrong pile. Crap. I was keeping the Darkness Ablaze and the Brilliant Stars. And the, not Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance separate. There we go. In separate piles for easier sorting. Next pack. There we go. Gardenia's Vigor. Whizcash. Temple of Sinnoh. Psyduck. Cricketot. Psyduck again. Petalil. Stantler. Reverse Psyduck, three Psyducks in this pack, Jesus. And a hollow Hisuian Decidui. That's cool. I really don't mind Decidui's design, honestly, from Legends Arceus. 
I think his hat's a little funny, but otherwise he's cool. Alrighty. Oh. Next pack. My code card pile's so tall it's falling over. So many Psyducks in that. There was no need for it. Gutsy Pickaxe. Duot. Sweet Honey again. Quillfish. Two kinds of quillfish. Better hope they don't get a headache. Boy, I feel that. As someone who suffers from migraines, I feel that. Why does Pornyard look like that? <laughs> Featherball. Nice. I like that. And an Ursa Luna. Who's looking very scary. Right. These are some cool artworks so far. They did a set for Legends Arceus so quickly. I feel like that game only just came out. Beastar Marker. Into an Ooxie. Energy Lotto. Overquill. Cricketot. Sudawudu. Combi. A female Combi as well. Drifloon. Psyduck again. Reverse Bronzon. And a shaman! That's so cute! That's adorable. Encouraging gift. You can use this attack only if you go second and only during your first turn. Search your deck for up to three cards. Any three cards. Wow. Fair. That is a decent move. Continuing swiftly on. What have we got? Ursa Ring, Kranidos, Piloswine, Rowlet, Scyther, Oshawott, Stantler, Yanma, Reverse Vespaquin, and a Samurott V! Our first full art for Astral Radiance. Where'd I put my sleeves? There we go. Is a Hasuian Samurott V. That's a really cool card. That looks awesome. Hell yeah. I love that. Samurott is definitely my favorite. He's my favorite universe starter, but he's also my favorite of the... Arceus starters. Or final evolution starters. Because Rayleigh's my favourite base. Next up is Choi. Quilava. A heavy ball. Quillfish again. Mantine. Basculin. Pooch Yenna, for some reason. Glamiao. Reverse Heracross. And a Reggie Drago. They've made some odd choices for this set. Why is it based off Legends Arceus? And you've got like the Reggie Drago, Poochiena, and fucking. What's the other one? Nick it if you can't even get them in the game. I know it's just so itchy. I think I got cat hair up it. Still cool cards, though. I'm just confused. But that's okay. Eight. Heavy Ball. Perugly. Feather Ball. Oshawott. Scyther again. Stantler again. Yanma again. Hoot Hoot again. Hello! <laughs> I forgot about the reverse holo slot. Who's behind it? A little Glaceon. Yay! Alright, so this is our first Trainer Gallery card. Galarian Moltres V, which again, why a Galar Pokemon? But anyway, Galarian Moltres V Trainer Gallery. That's a really cool card. 
I like that. That's pretty. I love the trainer gallery cards. I love when sets do them. The Radiant Collection from like Legendary Treasures, Black and White Legendary Treasures was so fun. I love that they're sort of bringing that back with the trainer galleries in some of the recent sets. I think it's super fun. Roxanne, Curlia, Wait and See Turbo. What? <laughs> okay. Ponyta, Cricketot, Psyduck, Petalil, Stantler, Reverse Leafeon, and Regice. Nice. So it looks like they're going to have a couple of the Evolutions in here as well, which I'm not going to complain about. Boop. Unsheath. Ah, Triflim. Grant. Pyloswine. Combi. Chatot. Psyduck. Drifloon. Sudawudu. Reverse Bronzon. And a Braviary. Which is also a very cool artwork. I like the art in this set as well. It's very nice. It looks very clean. I just really can't stand the origin forms of Dialga and Palkia. I think they're nasty, but that's just personal opinion. Gutsy Pickaxe. Zisu, Curlia, Drifloon, Sudawudu, Magnemite, Ralts, Sneasel, Reverse Sudawudu, and a Registeel. We're starting to get some double commons already, which is not good. There's so many fucking Psyducks. I've probably... By the end of this, I can make my own booster box just with Psyducks. Alright, V-Star Marker again. Into Temple of Sinnoh. Ursa Ring, Feather Ball. Hippopotas, which, that's, he looks very kind. Cyndaquil, Pawniard, Growlithe, Voltorb, Reverse Rufflet. And another Rapidash. Definitely starting to get some doubles now. Which, how big is this set? 189 standard cards. So it's smaller than the last couple sets have been. Because Evolving Skies, Fusion, and Brilliant Stars were massive fucking sets. I don't know if I'm ever going to complete them. I'm still trying to complete sets from like black and white and X and Y, which is very hard to do now. Misdreavus, Hippopotas, Cindy, Reverse Petalil, and a Heatran V Ultra Rare. Fuck yeah, let's go. Look at this guy. Fuck yeah, I have a clip on my channel and my TikTok of... I didn't know that Heatran was in the game. And I had a clip and we walked into a cave and I was like, Haha, watch it be Heatran. And then it was a Heatran. <laughs> Within like two seconds of me saying that. But I like the colours in that. Like the yellow and purple in the back. It's very pretty. Some nice artworks. Alrighty, last pack from the ETB, and then we can start on the booster box. Another V-Star marker. Uh, what was that? Golduck. Super effective glasses. Cricketoon. Scyther. Growlithe. Bronzor. Rufflet. Quillfish. Reverse Gardenia's Vigor. And a hollow toga kiss. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. He's so happy. That's adorable. 
I'm playing through Soul Silver in my own time, and I've just gotten to Kanto, and I just got a Toga Kiss on my team. I grinded out the Pokeathlon Dome to buy a shiny stone for my Togetic, that I ran through the Elite Four with, by the way. I do love them. Yeah, I'm having a really good time using a Toga Kiss. It's so good. All right. We know what this leaves. 36 packs of Astral Radiance goodness. So far, the pull rate has been pretty decent. So we'll see if we can keep up with it. I'm going to probably start moving through these pretty quickly. Not doing slow reveal pulls since we're starting to get quite a few double ups of the commons and stuff. Bishop. So I'm probably just going to start flicking through a bit faster. Alternate Scyther art and an Eevee. Oh my god! Look at it! That's so cute! Oh my god, that's adorable. Heracross, Mantine, Quillfish, Reverse Chatot, and a Leafeon. That is, I think, the cutest Eevee card I've ever seen in my life. He is adorable. That's so cute. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Astral Radiance, best artwork, 10 out of 10. Alright. Featherball, Ooxie, Energy Lotto, Bergmite, Hippopotas, Cyndaquil, Scyther, Growlithe, Reverse Ooxie, and an Arcanine. Which I really like the Hisui and Growlithe and Arcanine. I wasn't sure of them at first when they revealed the trailers and stuff, but I really like them now. Fire Rock is not ideal, but I think that they're very cool. Alrighty. I know, I'm excited. I'm almost finished Legends Arceus. All we've got left is the final mission, which is complete the Pokedex and catch Arceus. Um, but I'm saving that for the six hour stream, which... By the way, we're one follow away from 250. I'm doing my first ever six hour stream. When we get to 250 followers, there's going to be Animal Crossing. There's going to be finishing off Legends Arceus. There's going to be more Pokemon Shining Pearl, which we started this morning. There's going to be maybe some Mario Kart, maybe some Pokemon Unite, a bit of community games in there. It's going to be fun. So if you are hanging around and you like any of the things I just listed and or you like horror games such as Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Dead Space, Until Dawn, I have a massive list of horror games in my About panel that I would like to play. I am also doing Resident Evil right now. We do Pokemon pack openings every now and then. If you would like to hang out, you are more than welcome to. Stick around and vibe with us. Hello, another trainer gallery. And a hollow Samurott in the back as well. Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX. Which again, why are you in a Legends Arceus set? I'm not super sure. But this card is beautiful nonetheless. Very, very pretty. Sweet. All right. Boop. Moving swiftly along. Hippowdon, Dark Patch, Magneton, Rufflet, Ponita, Rowlet, Bronzor, Oshawott, Reverse Swiner, Mom and Bunny. And a thievil. I oh, fuck it. Look at his feet. If you've hung out with me before, you probably know that I really like the small round Pokemon. 
Swinub is especially in that list because of his little fucking feet and just how happy he is. I love him. He is best boy. The little cold little footsies. Fuck yeah. Lotad's in the same boat. He's got some little fucking feeties if I've ever seen them. Now the V-Star marker. Driftblim, Trekking Shoes, Golduck, Scyther, Eevee again, Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Reverse Bisharp, and another Regice. I'm sort of surprised they didn't make the Regis as hollows, but I suppose they don't have a major role to play in the game. So I can kind of understand why. Uh, Choi, Quillava, Heavy Ball, Cinderquill, Hippopotas, Porniard, Growlithe, Voltorb, Reverse, Zelf, and a holy fuck, that's beautiful! Wow! And a Jirachi V Ultra Rare. That's gorgeous! Holy fuck! Also, the centering on these cards hasn't actually been that bad for anyone wondering. Like, this is. This is quite good, but. That's so beautiful. It's like glitter in the back. Oh my goodness. That's so pretty. About your question earlier, P Mills, I think this is my favorite card art. <laughs> That's so pretty. The pull rate on this set seems to be quite decent as well. From what I'm noticing. Which I think has something to do with the fact it's a slightly smaller set. Because Evolving Skies was awful. Chilling Rain was awful. Fusion Strike was, I think, the worst of the bunch. It was, like, over 350 cards. So hard to pull anything good. Oh, that's so pretty too. Hey, we got our first double pack. Hey, Navia, welcome in. Let me real quick mm, shout out. Nah, Navia. Did it work? Yay, I... No, it didn't. I spelt your name wrong. Uh, uh, there we go. Rats are trying to take away my phone. They're on free roam. Oh dear. How are you doing? You came in at a tremendous time. We pulled our first double hit pack. So we've got Frostmoth here from the trainer gallery, which I love the rainbow shift in that. I hope you can see that. That's gorgeous. And a Luxray V in there as well, which is also so fucking cool. The arts in this set. I know I said it for Brilliant Stars, but these are gorgeous. The They've just got so much detail in them. In the backgrounds and like the, the fibers of their like... Let me get the fucking Luxray again. Like all his fur and everything. It doesn't, that looks like fan art. Without like shitting on Game Freak, that looks like fan art. It's gorgeous. Okay. Oh my god, I'm going to sneeze again. Apart from three rats sitting on my soldiers, sh soldiers, shoulders, and another two following my phone, turning on random apps. Mischievous rats. Maybe you need, maybe they're old enough that you should just get them their own phone. Get them a little flip phone. They're old enough. They can be responsible on social media, surely. The Rattos. They can be good. Another fucking Psyduck. Oh my goodness. Reverse Braviary. And Hollow Typhlosion. Why is he standing like that? He looks so funny. 
I know everyone was freaking out over Typhlosion. I really wasn't the biggest fan of his design. I know. Samurott's my favourite out of the, th the three. It is really cool. I just, I'm not a big fan of his design altogether. It just made him look sleepy. I sometimes get the urge to get some more Magic the Gathering cards just to open them. That's the dangerous part, is the thrill of opening cards. And just the feeling of flicking through them in your hand. Togepi. Chatot. Reverse Quillfish. And Reggie Drago again. We yeah, are knocking through this box. Another V-Star marker. They're everywhere. But I stopped myself because I know I won't ever play. Not you coming in to attack me right now. I don't play either. <laughs> I just collect the sets. I play the online game sometimes. So to be fair... I do, um, I use the code cards from these and I do play online. But physically, I just collect the cards and have them all in binders and try and make sets, even though to this day I don't have a single master set. Except for the McDonald's 25th anniversary promos, if you count that as a master set. It's kind of disappointing, actually. Oh, and the 25th anniversary jumbo cards. I have a master set of them, too. But, again, I don't think that ever really counts. I'm working. I would like to try and complete more sets. But a lot of the ones I'm close to, I'm either missing super expensive cards out of. Or they're super old sets. And it's hard to find anyone selling singles of them. Especially when they're just like super common cards. But also, they release new sets and boxes. Hell yeah. Saved up enough points. Oh, just gonna tuck that back for a second while I finish my sentence. Ooh. Um... But they release new boxes and sets so often that by the time I've saved up enough to buy the next set, I haven't had time or money in between to try and go for master sets. So. Uh, ew. It's an origin form Palkia. Gross. I hate the origin forms. Dog was squimming. He's so nasty. Why did they have to give him no arms? Palki was nasty enough before and now he has no arms. That's just not right. It's just not fair. They didn't have to do him dirty like that. Eight. Roxanne, Togetic, Pickaxe, Togepi, Magnemite, Ralts, Sneasel, Mistrevis, Reverse Quilava, and Bascu Legion, who looks very moldy. He looks a little moldy, but that's okay. He's just doing his best. And that's all we can ever ask for, really. I could never afford booster packs as a kid, and I heard Magic the Gathering ones were scams. You wouldn't get anything special. I have never dealt with Magic, personally. I feel like Magic is one of those things where more people collect to play than they do to collect, whereas Pokemon's the other way around. The amount of people who don't even realize it's actually a trading card game like you're supposed to play with them 
and not just sell them for profit is kind of astounding. Hollow Wordier. Why did they choose him to make a hollow? That's so, f that's so weird. Right, I have adult money now and I spend it on Pokemon cards because I'm an adult and I can do those things. See, everyone's got a hobby. And in my mind, right, I collect Pokemon cards. Some people are out here like buying crack cocaine. And I have this Bergmite. So, that's the way I like to think of it. It makes me feel better about myself on the inside and my spending habits. But I, I will end that monologue by saying that I'm not stupid with my money. If I, like, am broke and can't afford to eat, I'm not going to go buy Pokemon cards. Like, I'm not silly. I've been saving to buy all of this. As a strong deck building community. Pokemon cards are for the fun of catching them all. Hell yeah. Reverse mill tank. Nips flapping in the wind. And an overquill. Oh, to be a mill tank. Nips flapping in the wind. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> uh, it's okay. We've all been a little attacked here tonight. Heavy Ball, Hippowdon, Dark Patch, Basculin, Puchiena, Glamiao. Excuse me, Yanma, Swinub, Reverse Temple of Sinnoh, and a Hollow Mill Tank. Is the mil did the Mill Tank I get before was that a Hollow? No, it was a reverse holo. Okay. I was like, wait, is there a regular ender holo? But no. Got to get the rados back into the cage. That's all good. Capture the children. Confine the army. Do what is best for the rodent population. All right. Gardenia's Vigor, Wizcash, Temple of Sinnoh, Pugena, Swinub, Quillfish, Petalil, Nicket, Reverse Drifloon. Like a good parent, exactly. They cannot be left out of their cage to commit sins and arson. Wait, what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Ha! Ah, maybe it is something. <laughs> Hello! Sir, ma'am, madam, hello, how are you? We have our first rainbow rare, everybody, of Zisu. Don't know who that is, but that's all right, because she is rainbow, and that means she is rare. <laughs> there we go. Top loaded and safe. Hell yeah. So yeah, the pull rate is quite good by the looks of it. <laughs> We've gotten many full arts. And a couple ultra rares. It's our first secret rare. Things are going swell. Swellular, if you would like to say that. This pack is nothing special though. So we're just going to flick through him because I don't believe there's anything in here. Although I keep forgetting that you can get hits in the reverse slot. So maybe I shouldn't be speaking too soon. Let me fix up my rubbish bag. Starting to overflow a little bit. All right, I'd say we're like halfway through the booster box now. So this is going quite well. We did already pull our rainbow rare though, so low chance that we're going to be pulling a second secret. But there's still the chances for trainer galleries. We've still got Vs. We've got V maxes. V stars are all still available to pull. 
All are possibilities. Ooh, that pack opened really easily. That was nice. Nice and satisfying. Magneton, Gapejaw Bog, Togetic, Nicket, Petalil, Bergmite, Cinderquill, Hippopotas, Reverse Rufflet, and a Starmy V Ultra Rare. They just keep on coming, don't they? They cannot be stopped. Not at all. That green is very disorientating, though. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at him. Just being all starfish-like and shit. That green was a choice, though. Oh my god. <laughs> what a colour. Alright. One, two, three, four... Oh no! Everything's going wrong! Why is there a card backwards in here? It was just like that as I was... Error pack? And this has gone to shit. I've somehow successfully managed to do the card trick though, so I mean... Here we go, I suppose. Even though everything's fallen out already, everything's gone to shit. There's the fucking flippy boy. No need for that. There we go. Shaman. whoop de doo <laughs> What is happening here? Truly what is going on? Alright. Boop. One, two, three, four. Grenados. Gold up. Switch cart, hippopotas, cinder quill, quill fish, growl lith, bergmite, reverse mammoth swine, and a vespaquin normal. Because we had a reverse vespaquin earlier. I love getting booster boxes because they get you like a solid 50% of the way through a set. They're awesome. Definitely recommend, if you can, if you want to get into Pokemon cards or you're picking up a new set, make a booster box the first thing you do. Another hollow Decidui. I went like silent there for a moment. I'm sorry. My brain, it stopped functioning. Boop. Ah, uh, Gardenia, Whizcash, Sweet Honey, Mantine, Quillfish, Basculin, Puchienna, Glamiao. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Um. Um. What is happening? Okay, so to break that down, first we have the Radiant Greninja, which I don't know how rare this guy is. But it's a fucking shiny Pokemon. So, sick. Cool. And then behind it was a, another secret rare. So two in a box. Gold Temple of Sinnoh. This is insane. Oh, these are the thick top loaders, aren't they? Yeah, I don't want to put him in one of them. I want one of the proper ones. There we go. Get in there. There we go. Goodness me. This booster box has been insane. Oh my goodness. That's two secret rares in a booster box, by the way, which I haven't had this kind of luck in. Okay, well, I take that back. I can be quite lucky with Pokemon cards. However, I haven't seen a set with this good of a pull rate in quite a while. Like Brilliant Stars was good, but this is insane. I feel like it's every one in five packs we're pulling something. There you go. Trainer Gallery Flapple. Ursaluna in the back. Ooh. 
Like, what the heck? Out. Get. Go. Out. You're not allowed in here. You eat my cords. And you can't pay to replace any of the shit you break. I need to hurry up and get that fence panel. We worked out the only way we can block off my office to her. It's a cat, by the way. Little kitten. The only way we can block off my office, because we've got a mattress in front of it right now. She knocks it down and climbs it. It's not even my kitten. <laughs> it's not. Um, she knocks it down and climbs it. She's small enough that she can fit through a baby gate. And she can climb most things we put there. So what I'm having to look into to get is like a piece of chicken wire fence paneling. And I'm hoping that that will work. Because I have a lot of expensive stuff in here that I can't afford to keep replacing. She was fine in here. She's allowed in here when she's supervised. But right now she was in here before and she's playing with my cables again right in front of me. Like, I, it's not that I don't want her in here. It's just that she has already shredded completely in half one of my pieces of equipment. Oh my fucking god. Another double. Jesus Christ. She's already shredded in half one of my pieces of equipment. And I've had to buy it again. Alright. Trainer Gallery Melanie. And... What's that? Ultra rare Samurott V. Another double hit pack. The backgrounds on these cards look fucking amazing. Again, the pull rate in this is insane. It's crazy. And the hits just keep coming. Another V star marker. I do love her, though. I'm definitely a cat person. I do like her. It's just she's not my cat. And I don't have hundreds of dollars to replace all my shit. So are you having some monster luck? I mean, maybe. But this is insane. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure we pulled this one at the start, but it's another full art. Another Samurot. So many Samurots we're getting here too. I feel like I heard it say the Samurot was my favourite. And it's just like, here you go. Here's a shit ton more of them. This is an amazing booster box. Oh my goodness. Even that ETB was pretty good. That Darkness of Blaze ETB actually had some nice shit in it. So I'm very happy with that. This has been a fantastic night. I mean, we've definitely made our money back already, but I'm not selling these. Reverse Ursa Luna and a Glaceon. I feel like I haven't been narrating what we've been having in these packs, because each time I go to start a sentence, it throws a full art or an ultra rare at us. Or like a trainer gallery or something. Whoops. Goggles, Bronzon, Duot, Togepi, Chatot, Magnemite, Tidiosa, Sneasel, Wait and See Turbo, and a Cleavor. I have no idea what that Wait and See Turbo is. I don't know what that means. I've never seen that before. All right. Another black border, so there could be something in here. Uh, Scyther, Growlithe, Bronzor, Rufflet. Another Radiant. An and another fucking double hit pack. Oh my god. What is happening? Beedrill V. Followed by yet another shiny Pokemon. Radiant Halucha. 
I did not see this one in the card list. I must have skimmed over it. Which, what funky shiny colours, by the way, but... There we go. <laughs> it's fucking insane. This is, like, my best opening to date. This is crazy. Shield on. Silene. Bronzor. Rowlet. Oshawott. Hoot Hoot. Cricketot. Reverse Regirock. And Mighty Yenna. Which is a really cool artwork. Oh, I've ruined it for myself. It looks like a scene from Twilight. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. I can't pick up this energy card. There we go. There's only four more packs left in for the opening tonight. It's gone quicker than I thought it would. But only four more packs left to go. Can't look at that card the same again. Literally, I've ruined it for myself now. Trekking Shoes, Magneton, Cricketot, Sudawoodoo, Combi, Drifloon, Psyduck... Whizcash and Magnazone Hollow. Keep on going, tearing through the pile. We have another black border card, which means another hit pack. Accidentally slipped out a Yan Mega there. Silene, Zelf, Mistrevis. That was a cool Magnazone, actually. I haven't seen a Magnazone card in ages. I feel like everyone forgot that Pokemon existed. Bronzon Trainer Gallery, followed by a Hollow Absol, which is so gorgeous. That's beautiful. I really like Absol. I forget it exists all the time, but Absol's such a beautiful Pokemon. There we go, Trainer Gallery Bronzon. Adds another one to the set. The penultimate pack. Second last one. We're almost done here, folks. We have a white card here, so I'm just going to flick through. Bronzon, Quillfish, Rowlet, Quillfish, Oshawott, Hoot Hoot, Reverse Glammeow, and a Registeel. And then we have the final Astral Radiance pack for today. Last pack out of the booster box, and it is a white code to finish it off. Perugly, Zelf, Switchcart, Stantler, Quillfish, Scyther, Togepi, Combi, Reverse Magneton, and an Avalog. Well... Well, well, well. Shall we recap? <laughs> I'm going to flick through my piles here and pull out all the fun stuff. So from Darkness Ablaze, we had Houndoom V. We had, I'm not worrying about normal hollows. I'm just looking for the fun stuff. Rainbow Rare Sizzle V Max. And the Charizard V from Darkness Ablaze. Then from Astral Radiance, we have a Gold Temple of Sinnoh and a Rainbow... Rainbow? Rainbow Zizou. Zizou. I don't know how the fuck to say her name. Trainer Gallery Bronzon. Radiant Halucha, Beedrill V, so many here, 
Samarot V. Melanie Trainer Gallery and Samarot V Ultra Rare Trainer Gallery Flapple Radiant Greninja So many pulls That's only like half of our pile Ultra Rare Starmie Origin form Palkia V. What else did we get? Luxray V. Trainer Gallery Frostmoth. The gorgeous ultra rare Durachi. Shadow Rider Calyrax. God, flicking back through these, I'm realizing just how good of an opening this was. Ultra Rare Heatran. Trainer Gallery Galarian Moltres. And I think that was our first hit. Oh, and then we had the second Samurai V. God damn. What an absolutely insane fucking opening that was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen full arts and two secret rares from our Astral Radiance opening today, which is fucking insane. And I mean, three full arts from a Darkness of Blaze ETB is really good as well, but. That Astral Radiance, that's absolutely insane. I cannot get over the luck that we've had tonight. It's been awesome. God damn. Well, with that, I'm going to make my way off for the night. Um, thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me and sharing the hype. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream and you're not followed, I do definitely recommend it. We do Pokemon card openings every now and then. Animal Crossing, Pokemon, Resident Evil, a lot of horror games, cozy games, that sort of stuff. There is a panel in my bout section with a whole list of games that I want to play. We do also have the six-hour stream coming up probably very soon. We're one follow away from the goal, which is awesome. And we also have a community point challenge going on right now. It's got 13 days left um, for a rare replay game night so that I can experience these games that everyone holds so much nostalgia towards. Things like Conker's Bad Fur Day, Banjo-Kazooie. Um, Perfect Dark. Grab by the Ghoulies, Viva Pinata. A bunch of those games I've never played before. Thank you for contributing, P Mills. I appreciate it. Gonna love Rare Replay. Yeah, I've like I've never played those games before. But I know a lot of people really love them, so I wanna give it a shot. Um and yeah, I guess I wanted to see how many other people would like to watch it, I guess. So otherwise I'll just play it in my own time. But thank you all for hanging out today. I very much appreciate it. Like I said this morning, I'm not going to, or I'm probably not going to be streaming this weekend because I'm working full days, Saturday, Sunday. However, I'm going to try and be back Monday. Um, I'll update on my Twitter and Instagram as well as in my Discord server when I do decide that I'm going live and what we're going to do. But other than that, I need to sneeze. Oh, sorry. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it for tonight. So let's go ahead and raid out. We have one lovely friend streaming at the moment, so that makes this decision very easy. Uh, if you've been here before, you may have come and raided him before with us. Not so wise, Fool93. Um, we raid into him quite often. Fellow Australian streamer, he's also a VTuber. 
plays a bunch of different things, but right now it looks like he is doing Devil May Cry. So let's go vibe with him and see what he's up to. I'm going to throw a raid command down in chat. If you guys would like to join us, please copy that one with the global emotes so we can throw it down in his chat when we get there. But I appreciate everyone stopping by. I hope everyone has had a good time. And hopefully I'll see everyone next time as well. But let's get this one started. And I'm going to go make myself some dinner. Because <laughs> I am hungry. But yeah, I will see you guys next time though.